how Hideo Kojima ripped off Escape from New York. John Carpenter is considered one of the best directors of all time, creating such influential films such as Halloween, which is big on the slasher genre, post Psycho, The Thing, which probably influenced Final Fantasy VII, etc. Halloween was really big since Ho Janet Leigh was Jamie Lee Curtis's star of the Halloween of Halloween's mother, and obviously it's obvious from the sexual overtones of the original Psycho film. Even if the script of the Psycho was no doubt one of the most complex ever, even if you forget about the major plot twist. However, it feels too darn close. After watching Escape from New York in 2017, I felt very uncomfortable. I don't know if Kojima did this because of the restaurant scene in Pulp Fiction or whatever, but sure as hell made me feel uncomfortable copyright-wise. I wonder how the producers and Weinsteins felt about it, or whoever. Marketing it as a Metal Gear Solid, as Metal Gear Solid opposed to Escape from New York makes me feel even more comfortable because it ignores credit from the original, from the predecessor as a result. Movie tie-ins were really bad in the video game around the PlayStation era, but still, give it its due. I'll go with a Kojima and do this, Escape from Shadow Moses. Let me list the stuff that was taken, ripped off, and stolen from Escape from New York. The main character's name is Snake. He's an anti-hero with anti-government leanings. Former soldier, cigarette, eye patch, tough guy. It has to do with the president being saved from a prison-like facility. Watching this, I was wondering, does Kojima have any of his own ideas? I felt like my childhood was a lie. However, then again, to sum it up briefly, Metal Gear Solid is a 90s to 2000s stealth game with bosses, and Escape from New York is a dystopian action fiction from the 80s. So there's that.